Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we record our weekly vlog. As we search for a life full of meaning. So without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning, good morning and welcome to Saturday. Open the blind. It's a beautiful day out there. What are we up to today? Well, we're going to the boat. We're going to stay overnight on the boat as well, which makes me happy. And we're going to pop to work this afternoon and help out do some jobs basically at work. And then I think we're going to the pub with some work colleagues for a drink after. Yeah, just a really lovely day. But I've, I've got up and I've decided, let us up our food prep game. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take some food with us and let's eat like kings and queens. Right, I just done a box of salad. Now I want to make a dressing, not just a dressing, something delicious. Now I've got some sour cream in the fridge. It's coming to me, it's coming to me. So in this, I've grown thyme and oregano. They're the only fresh herbs I've got. So I'm gonna take those with the sour cream, some olive oil, some lemon juice. We'll throw it all together, have a taste. If it works, we'll take it. I have no idea what these herbs are gonna taste like in a dressing, but let's have a look and some garlic a bit of lemon juice right i've thrown the sour cream in i mean to be honest i think you could use natural yogurt you could use mayonnaise i mean if you didn't have any fresh herbs you could use a spoonful of pesto i'm sure oh yum 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 put in some salt and pepper whisk it up well, it'll just liven up a bit of lettuce. Mmm. Just found this tomato in the fridge as well. I'm going to chop that up, put that in a pot with some, a bit more lemon juice and some olive oil. Yeah. We've got some leftover bits from our takeaway last night. Throw those in the cool box. I didn't realise I had that dressing left, otherwise I wouldn't have made my own. Are you ready to get the day started? Get the day started, yeah. Get the day started and finished all in one go. Let's go. That plant is looking so sorry for itself. It needs deheading and watering and repotting before it goes too far. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Yes, that is blue sky you see. So I'm going to try and connect the fridge. Oh, yes. Because so obviously we've got some cold stuff for tonight. So I've got to take the fridge out, take the two wires out. I've then got to put one of them to a plus and find out which one the plus is and then wire accordingly. This is all going to come out anyway. Yeah. Poor old Jeff rang me this morning, chilli jam Jeff, with a voltmeter that looked very complicated and he was having trouble with his solar. So I might have to go and have a look at that tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, that's the right way around as well. There you go. 13.3. It's one little solar panel yeah. on top of the roof, which was partially covered as well. Yeah. I left on there all week. When I left that the other day, it was on 11.9, um, 12 pot volts, something like that, really low. So now we're getting proper, proper. Yeah. In the winter, obviously, it won't be as good. But now I just need to put the, the, these in here, and this bad boy should should boot up. You ready? Yeah, for the big switch on. Oh, Ready. new fridge. One, two, three. Hey! We have power! We've got refrigeration. We've just had a brainwave. A revo revolution. Not not a revolution. A revelation. A revelation. I made it. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn, it was Glenn's idea. So we were talking about that back cabin, like moving walls and doing all sorts of things, taking out the wardrobe so that we could have a double bed. But Glenn, like a genius, just suggested this. This actually does pull out to a double bed. But it's very close to the but fire. But it's so close to the fire, we wouldn't be happy with um, no, no using not. that. So, Glenn's just su suggested that we make a new sofa here and have a double bed across this way. And then we can also have the table in the middle. It means we haven't got to mess around with that back cabin 
and it just creates more seating and a bed here which is genius next we're talking about the door conundrum so this as you know is the shower yeah. and that opens that way the trouble is well it does open that way and then this opens this way but the thing is right that's the shower to to get into the toilet you have to step into the shower oh and then and then shut it and then it becomes a more spacious bathroom maybe that's the answer you just have to step in the shower well you've got another idea i've got another idea right is that we we cut this bifold door it. in half and have thin hinges that bifold, bifold it. it. Or you go with a um, a two-way hinge so that it can open both ways, just on this side. So basically that will shut this side. Yeah. And then we'll have to get rid of this bit here. And it, it's only lock in the middle, but then it will also swing this way. I've never heard of a hinge that swings both yeah, ways. No, you can get them here. Done this. This was. This has been changed. This is not. This has not always been like this. This is. This has got additions to it. So, a hinge that swings both ways. Yeah, it locks onto itself. It's just a duplicate hinge, and all, all, all I'd have to do is take this off, and it then that it'll just lock in the middle. Wouldn't matter. Wouldn't have to open to something. Okay. So we're leaving the boat now. We are heading to work where we're helping move around the office and then we're coming back. We're going to move the boat and we're going to spend the night out on the car. Exciting. Okay, you get a glimpse behind the scenes. Yes, indeed. We are in the office. I've been tasked with sorting out this cupboard and putting all the stationary stuff in. What are you doing? We placing the rack, tidying it up. Okay, and is this moving? Is it staying? This, that's your phone system, so that's got to stay. Oh yeah, we need some phone need calls. Some phones. And let me just... This area here, completely full. It's going to be emptied and transformed. Who thinks the cupboard will fit in the space? I mean, we'll make it fit. <laughs> I do. And who doesn't think it's going to no, fit no, in? Mm, he's, not sure. <laughs> he's not sure. I, I just got a height wrong, so I'm not even. Oh, okay. All right. right. Let's see. W will it? Will it fit? It is nearly four o'clock. We've been very industrious. I'm very pleased with what I did with the stationary cupboard. I mean, it looks amazing. If I say so myself. Anyway, we're heading back to the boat. I've just got to do a bit of editing so you get this video on Sunday morning. Then we're going to go to the pub with our work colleagues. Right, we've decided that while I'm video editing, Glenn is just going to move us down the canal a little bit, find a mooring spot for tonight. We're then going to walk to the pub from there. It's a plan. Glenn's doing one of his 360 donuts. We're going to moor just over there. Look at that house. It's lovely, isn't it? shouldn't be too far to walk to the pub from here this is a beautiful spot for the night right glenn thinks the pub is that away what's on linford manor park fossil hunting a family archaeology afternoon oh that was in april fossil hunting in may though this is where we go past in the boat you can see loads of boats up there They've done loads of work here. There's a, shanty, There's a lager shanty with my name on it. That's true. This is such a beautiful place. Some beautiful old buildings. Glenn's just said, do I recognise the colour of that front door? He says, same colour as our boat. It's another property, another couple of properties up there. This place is steeped in history. Are you an aspiring poet? three age categories the theme is water winning poems to be displayed as a poetry trail in the park right the pub is just here it's the lovely thatched pub it's called the nags head we've had a lovely time i didn't do any filming because i was with with our work colleagues and i didn't want to freak them out by whipping my camera out we are walking back through the park it's a beautiful evening and yeah back to the boat 
It's good to know that there's such a lovely pub with a walking distance. There's our lovely little boat sitting there. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. I'm whispering. There's a fisherman literally right outside. I'm making us some breakfast. Mr. One is still in bed. I'm gonna make some coffee and a bacon and avocado sandwich on sourdough bread. Mm. Now that is the way to start the day. So, bacon sandwich was good. Mr. Warner's just washing up. We are getting ready to go. We haven't got far, just to be up the canal basically, back to the cruising club. And then we're going to Leighton Buzzard where Jeff's having a problem with his electrics. You know, yesterday was such a lovely day and it poured with rain last night. It's not raining now, but it's definitely not sunny. I'm gonna take my coffee outside. Look at that in this tree. Mira Ma would know what that is. She would know. It's pretty impressive though. Look at that. It's actually raining. Yeah, raining. That's just crazy. How can the weather be so different? Oh my goodness. Just look how cute these guys are. These are the first swan babies I have seen this year. They are super cute. Wow, there's a lot of bird action in these trees. I don't know if you can hear it over the engine, but it's lively. I think it's starlings. I think it is starlings, yeah. They're, they're chattering. And just like that, the rain stops and the sun comes out. Weird. That tree in that garden is beautiful. It looks like pink candy floss. So here we are in the late and buzzard. Let's go find Jeff and Sally. See if Glen can find what's happening with their solar. Jules Fuels. We've spotted Jeff and Sally. They're down here. <laughs> You're right. Hello. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Glenn and Jeff are down here. Oh, they've disappeared. What's happening, Glenn? It's um, it's a break in the wire or something. Check the continuity of the wires. So basically, the wires are connected from here to there, but there's nothing coming through when they're plugged together with the plugs. So we're just thinking the plugs are, are knackered, but we're going to just cut them off and join them, and then Jeff can get some new um, plugs. Negative to negative. Let's do that. Yeah. Is it working now? Amps we're now getting 30 volts. We think they've got it sorted. There seems to be the right sort of noises coming from there. Like, oh yeah, yeah, it's like like everything's working. So Sally's put the kettle on again. <laughs> We're gonna have another cup of tea and I'm sure it, it, it'll all be fine. That's Jeff's solar panel sorted. We're gonna go and get some compost some and fuel. some fuel. That's where we're off to next. Yeah. They got a big TV in their car, Glenn. Uh, it's huge. It's a whopper, isn't it? I'd be, I'd be pulling, we're not pulling away very quickly, put it that way. <laughs> it don't look like it's struck down. <laughs> oh, my poor plant. Oh. It is on its last legs. Lunch today, made using leftovers. Delish. So Glenn's just nipped to the office to do some bits and pieces. It's not going to be long, he's just got to pick some stuff up, do some printing for me. Uh, Chloe gave me these dodgy looking bananas and I said I'd make some banana bread. So I'm going to make some banana bread. I've been sitting down with Madari trying to plan the week. It's a busy week ahead doesn't fill me with that much joy. All the things going on in the week, all good. The fact that they're all jam-packed in there, not so good. Anyway, 
I'm going to make this banana bread. Then I'm going to settle down with my computer and try and get a head start on the week. I always seem to be trying to get ahead. Never getting there. Right, in that goes. Banana bread is looking and smelling good. So, we've had dinner. It was all right. Oh man, there's a big mess in the kitchen. Good morning, gorgeous people. It is Monday. Bit of a strange Monday today. Glenn, this week, is working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rather than his usual Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, so that's the first bit of news. Second bit of news, I don't usually work on a Monday, but I'm going into work. Got two meetings this morning, and then I'm hot foot in it over to my mum's where we're going for afternoon tea. Yeah, I brought mum an afternoon tea voucher for Christmas and she's very kindly taking me. I mean, that is called a win-win, that is. Anyway, I better get on because my first meeting's at 8.30, so come on, let's go. Oh, it rained last night and everything is fresh. Righty, I'm here at work. Let's start the day. Right, it's just before 11 o'clock. Two meetings done. Check me out. Uh, now on to my mum's. We're going to afternoon tea, but we're going to try and fit in a visit to the garden centre before we go. So I'm here with mum. Finally gained access to the building. <laughs> Arrived, front door locked. I was like, that's all right. Knock, knock, no answer. And then I think... Mum didn't answer when I told her I was on my way over. And then I was like, where is mum? Where is mum? <laughs> so I go round, see the warden. And I was like, where's mum? She goes, I've seen her today. I was like, oh, thank goodness. And then I was like, oh, I'll go. she was going she was gonna to call you. I was like, no, no, I'll get the key. I then get the key from the emergency lock place. I remembered the code. It was a good, like, <laughs> it was a good test. In case of emergency, it was a good test. Yeah. So I managed to get the key, and the, then the key wouldn't fit in the no, lock. Because there was a double yeah, yeah. Lock. So I then had to come out, and then I met Mum, who was like, "Are you all right? What are you doing?" And I was like, "I was like, I'm looking for you, Mum. That's what I'm doing." <laughs> anyway, I found Mum. We are now off to the garden centre before we go to afternoon tea. Looks like it's going to pour with rain. <laughs> I like this little trolley. This is perfect. No. <laughs> Right, what, what are you looking for, Mum? Um, some pansies. Yeah. Some, um, violas. <laughs> Did you? Oh, this is my happy place. Love this. Well, that's a bit dramatic, isn't that? What about one of those for your garden, <laughs> Mum? Or a naked lady. I love a bit of a herby garden. I'm going to get a mint as well. I've got some chives and I've got some mint and I've got thyme and oregano on the windowsill. How big would your garden have to be to pop that in there? Oh, I could do with that outside the front door. Yeah, I'm not so, so sure I want a, uh, a swan in attack mode. Look how cheery these are. Easy to grow, grow in hanging baskets, patio containers or borders. There's so much to love here. So mum's got a trolley full. I've now got a trolley full. And you know what? I've just remembered mum. Yeah, we're in the smart car. Mum, I've got a sense of deja vu. <laughs> Have we not tried this before? Loads of room. I don't know what I was stressing about. Come on mum, let's get these plants in. Mum's going to be busy. Floor, it's a lovely warm day out here. So, Chloe brought my mum for her birthday a rhododendron. Now, mum's doing a lot of pots in her garden because it's easier to keep on top of them. These have got some dead flowers. Please give us your rhododendron um, advice. Maybe if we just take off the dead stuff. Mm. Right, so we've done a spot of gardening and uh, we've admired the garden. We are now off to the Hind Hotel in Wellingborough for afternoon tea. We're just walking through the churchyard. The grass has been cut, smells fresh and lovely. And there's squirrels and pigeons. Yeah, oh yeah, 
I keep thinking they're rats. But Mum's like, oh no, they're squirrels. So this is where we're going, the Hind Hotel. I think it's been here for a long time, actually. <laughs> Mum's gone for coffee, I've gone for tea. Wow. Wow, that's looking delicious, Look Mum. So we've got some delicious bits left for Glen. It's now pouring with rain, but we are... <laughs> We are slowly making our way up the hill. It was raining, then the sun came out, and then it was hot. We're full up to here with Kate now. I'm heading back to the house. I'm going to try and get those plants planted up tonight. I've just got in. And look, before I open it, I've just got a couple of telephone calls to make. So I'm going to sit down, make a couple of calls, and then we'll open it together. Well, Mr Warner came in while I was on the phone started ripping open the gusto box i was like glenn stop we open that together not me and glenn i mean me and you anyway let's have a look what's in the gusto box let me find somewhere to pop you what we got what we got chicken and lamb mixed grill and crispy lamb hummus summery roast chicken salad we've actually had that one before and i decided to pick it again because it was so delish Brazilian style chicken and coriander curry. Can't go wrong. One, two, three. Oh, number four. It's down the edge here. Down the edge. What is it? Thai, uh, crispy chicken, Thai style chicken and peanut sauce. Mmm. All of those are tasty. Now, I'm not hungry at all because I've had afternoon tea. So, I am going to let Mr Warner choose whichever one he wants. Well, I went a bit off piste with this. There was no coriander in the packet, so I didn't use it. I added a bit more peanut butter and I've added some of my own veggies. Just because they were in the fridge and if I didn't use them, they were going to go off. I'm going to ignore that for a minute. And I'm going to plant some of my plants. Yes. Do you remember that gorgeous, beautiful, colourful plant that I brought? Mm, must be about a month ago. Well, it's all died. Needs serious deadheading. I'm going to repot it. I've also got some plants that I've had indoors, which are really outdoor plants. So I'm going to plant those up. And then I've got the two plants that I brought today, plus the herbs. Let's, let's go on a planting fest. See what I mean? It's not looking good. There we go. That looks better. Let's just hope we can keep everything alive. Hello, good morning and welcome to Tuesday. It's going to be a good day today. Oh yes, it is. I've got exciting news to tell you. I've rebooked my place on the marathon. Oh yes. And I've decided to do a little bit more than a marathon. I've decided to do 50 kilometres, which I think is about 30 miles. So just a couple more miles than a marathon. Anyway, I've booked it. I'm excited. It's been a... Uh, journey just getting here this ma marathon has been booked and cancelled and booked and cancelled and not this time it's a dead cert there was one that i could have done in august but clary couldn't make it and i desperately desperately want to walk with somebody so and clary's the only person stepping up to the plate it is on the 24th of september it's 50 kilometers and i'm in Yes, I am. Today's a lovely day. I mean, lovely day as in blue sunshine outside. But I'm catching up with my friend Dawn today. I have not caught up with Dawn for ages. She lives just down the road. Like a mere two-minute walk. I drive past her house every single day. But today, I'm popping in for a cup of tea. I'm then going to walk to the chemist to pick up my prescription. Yes, I am. I'm picking up Leo this afternoon and then we're going to the pub later because it's my friend Zara's birthday. I mean, how about that for a lovely day? I'm very happy with it, to be honest. So, going to get my trainers on, going to walk down to Dawn's, have a coffee and a catch-up, walk to the chemist. Come on, let's go. Before I go, I want to water my new pots outside. I want to give those flowers the best chance.
So I've had a lovely catch up with Dawn. Oh, so good to see her. We've put the world to rights. I'm now gonna walk to the chemist to get my prescription. It's a beautiful day. I walked all that way to the chemist and my prescription wasn't ready to collect. So anyway, I'm walking back now. It doesn't matter, the walk was good. in two things to note as I walked up to the front door realized Glenn had left the key in the outside cupboard not just that though there was a van outside and as I came to the door a man appeared behind me holding this big box it says Ryan and Lisa which means this can only be something to do with the production company for the game show. So before I open it, just in case there's an email that says, do not open the box, I'm gonna check my emails and then I'll come back to you and see if I can open it and tell you what's in it. Oh my goodness, I can't show you what's inside. Did I tell you there was two more filming dates? I don't know if I did, but there is. There's two more filming dates. A new console and a new game. I can't tell you what it is. I've been sworn to secrecy, but it does mean I can get practicing. I don't feel like I've achieved much today. I've just had another shower because I was a hot, sweaty mess. I'm now going to nip to the office. I'm hoping there is a parcel there for Mr. Warner that someone has sent him. So I'm gonna go to the office, see if that's there, and then I'm heading on to pick up Leo. And then when I come back with Leo, Man, I need to do some tidying up. I don't, I don't know if you can see. It's very messy. Anyway, come on, let's go. We're at the office. Let's go see if this parcel's arrived. Glenn is going to lose his mind about what's in this box. So I've picked Leo up. He's got an ice cream. It's very warm today. We are heading back to the house. I just said, Leo, guess what I've signed up to do today? It's like, what? I was like, I've signed up to walk 50 kilometres. And do you know what Leo said? Can't you jog it? No, Leo, I can't jog it. So, this parcel for Mr. Warner. Let me pop you on the coffee tin. The other day, a lovely lady called Michelle contacted me and she sent me a picture and said, is this the cup that Mr. Warner broke? I said, it is. And she said that she had a spare one and she was gonna send it to us. I haven't told Glenn. I haven't told him. He's going to be so happy. Mr. Warner. Yeah. Who's this from? It's from Michelle. Okay. But Rick, be careful. Be careful. This is packaging. Yeah. Hey, is this what I think it might be? Check it out. It's a cup. Where did Michelle get this from? Michelle has actually got a set of them. Oh, right, she hasn't split a set. I think she has given you one of her set. Oh. oh check it out. Look at that. That is what the cup looked like. Thank you, Michelle. You don't know how happy that's made me oh. today. Are you very happy about that, I'm Glenn? I'm very happy about that. That is spot on exactly the cup I dropped. So, oh. Thank and, you. And and we'd had our cup, what, 25 oh, years? At least 25 years. Yeah, so, excellent. Yeah. Lisa and Glenn, hope this mug finds you in one piece. It does, the packaging was amazing. Lots of love, Michelle. But thank you so much, Michelle. So, Tuesday night, guess where we're off to? Can you guess? You know. Yep, we're off to the pub. It is raining outside, but that's a good thing because it means I don't have to water my plants. It's Sarah's birthday! Happy birthday! So, you know the marathon? Joe is thinking about joining us. Sarah, well, she's not sure. She's not sure, she's not sure but I I've reckon. I reckon. I reckon she'll be in. Me? I can't run a tap. <laughs> You don't have to run, Neil. You can walk it, Glenn. I need to pick up the yeah, he's he's the support vehicle. Yeah, he's going to gonna pick us up. This is going to be great. Good morning. It's half past five, and I'm up. I'm ready for a walk. So, come on, let's go. Good morning and welcome.
welcome to Wednesday. I was going to say Tuesday. Well done. Welcome to Wednesday. I'm not sure if I said good morning earlier when I trekked off at 5.30 this morning for a walk. My glasses are steaming up. Mm. I've been washing up. I've been cleaning. I'm a woman on a mission. Glenn, I feel energised. Do you? Plenty yeah. Down. Slow down city girl. Yeah, that's the word. I feel energised today. And I'm steaming up so much. Yeah. Because I'm like on fire. Well, they've let me out of the office. <laughs> yeah, they have. Uh, we've come out. We've come for a, a walk and a talk. A walk and a talk. We're going to talk to all the community. Yeah. So this is Tommy, who I work with. And we've, we've come out for the afternoon. It's got nothing to do with the fact that the sun is shining. Nothing to do <laughs> that it's a lovely day. It's nothing to do with that. Always planned anyway. <laughs> yeah. We were going to be out here all weathers. So off we go for a walk and a talk. <laughs> so we've spoken to loads of people. Tommy is taking us. Can you see that? Community orchard. Yeah, we're going. Come on. Yeah, so this is the community orchard. No, what no, what no. have they got here? Tommy, what have we got going on? So in here there's figs, there's rhubarb, strawberries growing, we've got loads of herbs, uh, lots of stuff just for the community to come out and be able to help themselves to but also help to grow as well. Gives everyone a sense of community <laughs> spirit. <laughs> Run of beans. Look, there's going to be a, a brilliant crop of strawberries there. Look at that rhubarb. It's massive. And outside here, we've got trees of all sorts. Fig trees, apple trees. Loads of stuff. Tommy, you have no idea, do you? I don't have an idea about that one. It's fig around the corner. There, there's a fig tree round here. So we just got in. Oh, what an afternoon. I've been walking up and down, asking people questions about the community all afternoon. My feet are killing me. We've both got to do a bit of work on our computers and then we're heading over to see Mia. Hey, what are you drinking, my Ribena? Yeah, I bought that. Bought that from Aldi, two quid. Is, two it, is it proper Ribena? It's proper Ribena as well, yeah. Bloody hell, that's a bargain. Mm. Right. Tonight's dinner, Brazilian style chicken and coriander curry. Yeah, that's what's going on tonight. Says it takes 30 minutes. Here we go, delish. So we're off to Naomi's to drop Mia's present off. She'll be in bed, but we have to go and pick up the doll's house that Naomi's been storing at the office and take it there we had to wait till she was in bed which was a real shame because i wanted to see her to give her a birthday card but i'll see her on saturday anyway oh my goodness that's huge that is huge yeah oh me it's gonna love that glenn's got to try and fit it in the car What are we doing, Mrs. Warner? I don't know. Moving house. <laughs> on the back of that ice cream van, it says, don't skid on a kid. You know, usually it says, watch that oh, child. That child. Whose presents are these for? Mia. Are they for Mia? I don't know what these for. Is she super excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> So, what have you done for your sister's I birthday? Got this and it's so let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, when I put it, it says, I love you so much. Happy birthday, love Evie. Oh. And there's this purple heart. Oh, that's lovely. Did you make that? Yeah. Oh, it's great. It's pouring. Oh. Oh. God, blimey. Do you know the one good thing about this rain? It means I haven't got to water the plants later. They need this. Good morning. Welcome to Thursday. I'm up early, but not as early as yesterday. Oh no, I just couldn't get up. I was like, no, I can't. So it's about seven o'clock and I'm off for my walk. Last night poured, absolutely poured with rain. And apparently there was thunder and lightning too. I slept through the whole thing. Yep. Knackered I was. Anyway, I'm off for a walk. Come on, let's go. Hello. 
what is going on today well in just under an hour i've got the meaningful midweek conversation with paul and maxine this week we're talking about boundaries oh do you set boundaries are you good at it i'm pretty rubbish uh, anyway we're talking about boundaries and then this evening the parish council that we work for is having their annual parish meeting there's going to be cake when i was telling people about it yesterday that's what i led with i was like would you like to come to this really fun event there's going to be free cake you won't believe the amount of people i got interested just on the basis that there's going to be free cake anyway so we're going to that this evening but i said to mr warner why don't we go earlier plot up at the boat for a bit Mr Warner can do a couple of jobs, tinkering, you know, the sort of jobs he loves to do, and, and stay on the boat overnight. Right, meaningful midweek conversation done. Mr Warner has returned from the office, and we're off to the boat. Come on, let's go. So before we get to the boat, we have just come to an industrial estate in Milton Keynes. We are going to pick up some leaflets and some boards that I have had done for the parish council event that's going on tonight and you know what i always get really nervous when i'm picking something up from the printers i always think yikes have i made an error is it all going to be okay glenn is nipping into being q to get some wooden boards and i'm going to unpack this just to make sure everything's all right i've checked it all all is good i've just seen mr warner coming he's carrying a massive bit of wood how are we going to fit in the smart car? This is going to be interesting. Yeah, so oh, fit in there, Mr. Warner's brought himself a saw. If it doesn't fit, he's going to cut it. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. So Mr. Warner's now going to cut the piece of wood with the saw that he's brought. Getting all the jobs done today. Oh, yes, we are. So that is... The leaflets and the big signs dropped off at work. Now on to the boat club where Mr. Warner's going to do some jobs and I am going to sit and do some video editing. Mr. Warner, what are you up to? He's clearing all these grain off channels. So this is where the community event's going on. <laughs> He's got skill. Okay. You're going to start with your weight like this foot. So you need to hold that one like that. Yeah. But still stand square. Oh, right. Okay. Nice. Like that. Right. Okay. Now we're going to do the right leg. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to do this leg. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I take it back, it is that easy. Did you get it? I did. I got the I got the shot. <laughs> what an amazing community event that was. Oh, what a joy. We're back at the boat now. Come put my feet up and have a cup of tea. Good morning and welcome to Friday, Mr. Warner. You got that Friday feeling? I would have, apart from I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 I get it, I get you, I get so it. It's sort of not but, it's a, a, it. but it's a community litter pick. It's a community litter That's pick. not work, is it? Well, I mean, I know you have to be there in a work capacity, mm. but anyway, anyway, community litter pick tomorrow. So we are just leaving the boat. We've literally just got up, had a coffee, we're leaving. We've got to get back to the house. I've got to do some work. Work on my computer and picking Leo up, but also picking ryan evie and mir up and we're going out for dinner this evening with auntie debbie it's gonna be a good day come on let's go oh 
my goodness, it's like it's quarter past one already. We came back from the boat. I sat down and I started working and I haven't moved. I'm cracking on. I'll catch up with you later. So I am leaving now to go and pick up Leo, then on to pick up Evie, Mia and Ryan. Oh, it's going to be a fun night. I'm looking forward to it. Come on, let's go. So I've picked Leo up. You're in a bit of a bad mood today. Let's go and get the others. Uh, we've got a car full. We've got Leo. We've Nothing got longer. Mia. We've got Ryan. And we've got Evie. And I lost my sweeties. Who's lost her sweeties. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to the house. It's going to be lively. So we've just have heard the bad news that Auntie Debbie can't come out for a meal with us. Oh no, I forgot the cards. Just like now. Yeah, I wonder when here. Yeah. You've been here before. Yeah, gone together. Oh. Yeah. No. Is that one me? Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh yes, and Ryan, yeah. <laughs> We're playing Tracy Ace with the most sparkliest cards. Look, Have you got another pair? Oh, yeah. oh Ryan's out. <laughs> this is not tea show, everyone. I've got Mia celebrating her birthday today. Can I have a huge round of applause, please? Woo! singing and celebrations we've dropped leo off and glenn and evie have already arrived at deb's do we think she might have a birthday card for you come on let's go oh that's a cute let's card oh you're rich i got more money you're rich you're rich it wasn't a bad week was it i can't even my highlights were trying softball at the community centre. I love that. I managed to hit the ball. I mean, just the once. But that's all I needed. What's been your highlight this um, week? Our lovely viewer, Michelle, by sending me a cup, which I have used a couple of times already. That night, he made a cup of tea using his cup and he held it up. He goes, it's like having an old friend back. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was lovely and a little bit sad in equal measures there, Mr yeah. Warner. But anyway. yeah, that was lovely. That's it for this week. Hope you can join us next week. Take care. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye.